Hey, John Doe here from Crimson Tattoo Company. I got a request to do a tutorial video on how I use reference layers on Procreate on your iPad Pro uh, to color some artwork. Um, so if we look, I have my outline already done. I drew up this peony flower um, and maybe I want to tattoo it and I want to save my line drawing uh, so that I can uh, later on make a stencil out of it. Uh, the old way of coloring it, you're coloring over the lines a lot, you have to erase a lot, it doesn't look crisp and clean. Uh, and so what we do is we use reference layers, which really, really help, uh, help you with coloring, help you with shading, and help you with blending. So what we do is we leave our outline layer alone. It's right here in my list of layers. So how to make a reference layer out of it, I click on it, brings up the menu, and I click the word reference. So what it does is it now makes this layer a reference to the layer directly above it. So I go ahead and I select the layer above my reference layer. And this is now the layer that I'm going to work on and the layer that I'm going to color on. And so what I do now is I click the select tool, which brings up the menu at the bottom and you have either freehand or automatic and you want to leave it on automatic. And so what I'll do is now, let's say I want to color in this petal right here. So I just click on it and it highlights that petal in blue. It only, selects the places that have a full, solid, complete outline. So if you're working on a drawing with no outline, reference layers doesn't really help. You'd have to do it in freehand mode. But for a full outline piece like this, click on automatic and it'll bring up that entire pedal. Now to work on that pedal, you click on your brush tool, which grays out everything else except for the pedal you want to work on. I like to use the airbrush on medium airbrush. I like to have the size turned up pretty high and the opacity turned down to about halfway. So for this peony flower, we're gonna color it blue. Um, so I'm gonna select a light blue. Uh, this color is Bermuda blue. Um, and I'll keep it on my airbrush. And now I can either just brush in the color real fast, or you can kind of do it the old fashioned way and just color drop on the whole thing and it'll fill it in real fast for you. Now I wanna add a darker tone of blue to make it kind of like a shadow. So I'll select this blue, which is galaxy blue. Again, pick my airbrush, and then I can color way outside the line. See, I'm coloring all over this part and nothing's happening. But the closer I get to here, I start getting color because I'm only working in this one little section. And so it really helps me to make really nice blends and gradients. So if you're wondering where I'm getting the names for these colors from, I use what's called the Abbott Color Wheel which is produced by a website called tattoosmart.com. Um, and it's every single one of Eternal Tattoo Ink's colors laid out in a color wheel format, uh, ranging from lightest to darkest. Uh, and you have your complementary colors and tertiary colors, and it really, really helps to select which colors will work better with other colors. And it really helps step up your use of color uh, with either drawing or tattooing. And it's really cool because you get to draw with the same exact colors that you get to tattoo with. So there's no more just picking a random color from the color wheel built into the Procreate. Now you can pick actual colors that you can then translate into your tattoos. Um, it's available for purchase on their website. Check it out at tattoosmart.com. So now that we've got this flower petal already colored, let's say we want to color the petal next to it. So again, we pick our select tool, make sure it's on automatic, and I'll select this petal. And notice how it does not select the back side of the petal, which is right here in its own outline. So to color that one, I'm again going to take my uh, Bermuda blue and I'll just pound it in there real quick and I'll go with my darker tone and I'll just shade up from the bottom, get a nice dark at the base and just blend it up. And I can really just kind of go wild with it and blend as far up as I want. And then when I'm done, I unselect and I've got a perfectly colored flower petal without any mess over my outlines with no color going into the other areas. So let's say now we want to color a leaf. Let's select this leaf here in the back. We'll go ahead and we'll take our darker tone, which is called jungle green. And we'll just whip that in there real quick. Take our light green uh, called nuclear green and we'll just go and we'll shade down from the tip to give it that nice blend 
right there. And I can just color as wildly crazy outside the lines as I want. Then let's say I want to put some yellow highlights in my leaf. I'll go ahead and I'll select this yellow, which is a bumblebee yellow. And I'll take my ink pen tool, make sure that I have my leaf selected. Remember everything else grayed out, it will not affect. It includes the line. So now I can go and I can take a yellow line and I can add these highlights without worrying about coloring directly over my black line that's already there. And there you go. From start to finish, you now have a pretty good leaf in just a matter of seconds. Obviously, we'll do a little bit of refining on that. But let's say we want to do a color study. Maybe I don't want to do a blue peony and I don't want to have to erase all this progress that I already made. So I'll go ahead and just unselect the layer, move it up out of the way and put a brand new layer directly on top of my reference layer. So now I can go in and I want to color an orange peony. So I'll go ahead and I'll take my select tool and I'll pick that same flower petal. You have to make sure that the layer is open. Anyhow, we'll select our petal. There it goes, it turns blue. We'll pick our orange color. We'll color it light orange. Whoops, better make sure we have it on airbrush. There we go. Then I brush in the light orange and I wanna have a dark orange. This time we'll have dark orange coming in from the tips. So I'll start way outside and I'll just gradually get closer until I start seeing those tips turn in that nice darker orange. And there we go. And maybe I want to just turn down the size of my brush a little bit and then I can kind of sit here and bring some nice orange highlights in off of these little cuts in the flower petal. Like so. And then you go around and you can do the whole thing. You can select as many different pieces of your drawing as you want. So right now I'm selecting all the front sides of all these lower petals. And let's say I just really want to color them in real fast. I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time. There we go. Colored in that whole flower in just a matter of seconds. That is how you use a reference layer to help color your tattoos. And notice that I can just deselect all my layers. My outline is still perfectly preserved. I could print this out and make a stencil, have it ready to go. And I can print out my color study and have it there with me when I'm tattooing. It just makes things so much simpler and so much faster and it will really, really help step up your game, especially if you use the Abbott color wheel because now you can pick colors that really complement each other, that go well together and there's no more guessing. Does this work? Does this not work? Do I have this tattoo ink on my stand? I don't know. But now you know that you can color with it and it'll be the same exact color when you tattoo it. So that is how I use reference layers to make my drawing way easier. Hopefully this video will help you with your drawings. Um, if you have any questions about making reference layers or how to do any of this stuff that we talked about, you can message me and I'll help you a little bit more. Um, if you have any requests for how to do anything else on Procreate, just let me know and I'll, uh, I'll make another video. So again, uh, I'm John Doe. I'm from Crimson Tattoo Company. We're in Auburn, California. Go ahead and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. I'm going to put links down in the comments below, so make sure you check that out and give us a like. Hey.